The other new area of the product is related with Rust Server. We haven't really changed Rust Server, but we are trying to make it easier and simpler to deploy solutions based on Rust Server, which is our multi-tier web service architecture. What we are delivering is the ability to deploy Rust Server to Docker. We are providing scripts that allow you to deploy Rust Server, but also general Linux application built with Rust Studio to Docker. The scripts are shared on GitHub. And we also have ready to use images on Docker Hub, which can be used for different purposes. We have one that basically has only PA server and the basic requirements. So you can use it for building, testing, deploying applications, uh, Linux applications in general. The second includes Rust Server, the production version of Rust Server with Apache already configured for you. This is meant for deploying Rust Server solution where the Rust Server database powered by Interbase remains as separate. And the third option is includes Rust Server and the database, which requires licensing and database initialization. So it's not the solution we recommend for Docker deployment of Rust Server. Now, let me show you some snippets of the steps that you can use to deploy a Docker image with Rust Server. This is a Linux machine with Docker installed. And first of all, we are pulling the Rust Studio image that includes Rust Server with Interbase because we need a um, database available, although this is not the recommended way to run the system. We recommend having Interbase on a real physical machine. Anyway, this is how you configure an instance with Interbase inside it. Again, you'll have to deploy the license on it. And um, these are the various parameters you need to indicate. And at that point, the instance can start. Now we are deploying the real instance we're looking for and want to interact with, which is the PA Rod server instance. This requires also a few parameters to execute. Specifically, you need to indicate where is the EMS configuration in ETC EMS, which is the database port and the database host for your Interbase server that the Rod server is going to connect to, and also the specific port that we want to make available for client connections, uh, port 80 and the port for PA server. Now we have PA server running on this machine what we can do, we can first check if that Rust server runs on the VM. And also we can configure a deployment project that basically takes the package that we can build in Rust Studio and deploys this package to via PA server to the Docker image because the Docker image has PA server responding. So from the IDE, we can interact with the Docker image, deploy our solution. And at this point, we all we need is to restart the server there and we can hook to the solution.